guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Today I have another ranking video for you. I recently filmed a video ranking all of my powders and I also have one on my channel where I rank all of the eyeshadow palettes that I've tried in 2019. So I'll link a playlist in the description box below if you guys want to check them out. I asked you guys in my powder ranking video which video you wanted to see next on my channel. I got a lot of comments about bronzers, blushes, and highlighters. So I thought I would kick it off with blushes. This is all totally based on personal preference. It's just a fun way for me to go through and kind of give you an overview of the different formulas that I have in my collection. So I will film bronzers and highlighters next and then I will get around to lip products as well. But let's jump into it and I'll kick it off with number 12. Actually, before I start with number 12, I did want to mention I have the Flower Beauty Blush Bombs, which are really great. They're more of like a cream serum-like texture. So I did not include them in the ranking just because everything else is a powder product and I felt like they were so different. I couldn't figure out how to rank them within like my ranking of powder blushes, but I do have these and I do love them. Okay, so at number 12, I would have to rank the Essence Metal Chrome Blushes. This is probably the worst blush formula that I keep in my makeup collection. And honestly, I could probably declutter two out of three of these because the only one that I typically reach for is the shade The Beauty and the Bronze. This one actually does look like a blush on the skin, but the other two are a little bit off. To be honest with you, I probably should declutter these two. I might end up doing that, but I just wish they came out with a variety of shades and shades that a lot of people would typically like to use as blushes because this one is really great and it works well, but these two are just a little bit odd. So I think if you purchase these, you would probably be disappointed. Okay, so number 11 is a blush formula that I like. But again, when I recommend this blush formula on my channel, I usually have to share a long list of cons and I just don't find that it works for everybody. Not every product is going to work for everybody, but I find that again, it does have enough cons that I have to rank it lower on my list. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Blush. Now I do love the fact that these are so smooth and blendable. They go on the skin very nicely and they tend to be more on the subtle side. I've only tried four shades and out of the four, I find that they are all very, very subtle. So if you have a deeper skin tone than me, they might not show up that well on your skin tone. You'd have to build them up, but because the formula is so smooth and soft, I find that they don't necessarily build as well as some of the other blushes in my collection. So if you like a very subtle formula, you might enjoy this formula. I do like it, but I don't find that it's necessarily the most high quality formula or the most ideal for a lot of skin tones out there. So that's why I'm ranking it a little bit lower on my list as well. Okay, number 10 is probably the most disappointing high-end blush that I have in my collection. I like this blush, but it is very expensive and I just don't find that it's necessarily worth the high-end price tag. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. It is the Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blush in the shade Ecstasy. Again, I do like this blush and I do wear it on occasion, but because the price tag is so high and it didn't really live up to what I thought it would be, I haven't purchased any additional shades just because I'd rather spend my money on other formulas in my collection. I like that there are two different shades so you can use them together, you can wear them alone. The whole concept is that you're supposed to like swish your brush around the outside and then take a little bit of the inner shade and pop it right on the apples of your cheeks. And it is really pretty. I don't have any complaints about the actual formula. I just don't find that it's necessarily spectacular and the price tag is up there. So Charlotte Tilbury products are expensive there are some that I love, but there are some that I just don't think are necessarily worth the ridiculous price tag. So that's why I'm ranking it at number 10. I enjoy it enough to keep it in my collection, but I would not purchase any additional shades. So those are the blushes at the bottom of my list. To be honest with you guys, I mean, I use them, I enjoy them, but if I lost them, I would not run out and repurchase them, and I probably could declutter them and not miss them a whole lot. Let's move into the middle of my list. These are blushes that I really enjoy. I reach for them all the time, but they're not necessarily my absolute staples. I have my top four formulas, but the rest of these kind of fall in the middle for different reasons, and I love them. I would purchase additional shades, but they're not like my absolute favorite. Number nine is the Too Faced Papa Don't Peach Blush. This was my favorite blush for such a long time and mine's getting a little bit old. It's probably getting to the point where I could declutter it and I'm trying to decide if I want to repurchase it or if I'm okay with some of the other blushes in my collection that can kind of take its spot. But I loved this blush for such a long time and I do still enjoy it. It's such a pretty shimmery peach blush and I find that it works really well for my skin tone. I'm ranking it at number nine because it's the only blush 
blush in the line. They don't have additional shades. I would love for them to release like a lighter peach and maybe a couple of deeper peach shades. That would be such a great extension because the actual formula is really smooth and blendable. A really good alternative is Milani's Baked Powder Blush in the shade Luminoso. And this is the one that I'm ranking at number eight. I really like this blush. And what's weird is that I only have one blush from this entire line. I've had this for years at this point and I know they have other shades and there are shades that have been on my wish list for a really long time. I have other shimmery blush formulas in my collection that I reach for over this one and I think eventually I would love to try more shades because I do really enjoy Luminoso. It looks so naturally radiant on the cheeks and I do enjoy it a lot but I don't know, there must be something about the actual formula that's just kind of holding me back from trying more. So I like it, but I wouldn't consider it a staple formula for me, like my absolute favorite top four. So the Flower Beauty Flower Pots Powder Blushes come in at number seven. I think that I just tried these for the first time in 2019, so they're somewhat new to my makeup collection, but I do enjoy them. They have four different shades, which is not a ton. I think that the formula is very similar to the Butter Blush formula from Physicians Formula, but I think they have a little bit more pigment to them. They do have some matte blushes, some shimmer blushes. I think that they perform really well. They blend really nicely onto the skin. And I think that I prefer the shimmery blushes a little bit more just because I do love shimmery blushes and they give your skin a really natural glow. I think that I would rank them a little bit higher if they had additional shades to choose from, but I know that they are a little bit more expensive than some other drugstore options. So I do like them. They perform really well. To me, they're just kind of like... In the middle, I don't find that I reach for them enough to consider them like an absolute essential or an absolute favorite, but when I do use them, I'm always happy with how they perform. Number six is a blush formula that I really like. I just haven't purchased another one of these in a while, but I still love them. These are from Tarte. They are the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blushes. I have three full size blushes and two minis. If you like a good matte blush that stays in place all day long, this is the formula for you. They might have a few that have shimmer in them, but I think that the majority of them are matte blushes. This is actually the first high-end formula that I ever tried because like five or six years ago when I was really getting into blush and makeup, I couldn't find a blush that lasted really well on my skin because I do have oily skin. I felt like by the end of the day, all blush faded on me until I tried this. This blush goes on well, it stays in place well. Because it is more of like a dry formula, I just find that it lasts really well on my oily skin. They have a really good range of shades and I just really like the blush line overall. I would definitely have to say that it's one of the highest quality blushes in my collection and if I was like straight Strictly a matte blush fan, I'd probably rank it at number one. But personal preference, I tend to reach for like a shimmery or glowy blush. But if you're a matte blush person, these are going to be the blushes for you. Okay, so moving into my top five, I'm ranking this one at number five. I have a feeling it could go a little bit higher on my list as time goes on because I love it, but I haven't used it a ton compared to the other blush formulas. And I own multiple shades in the other formulas that I ranked a little bit higher. But I do love the Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo. This one is in Soft Peach, and it comes with two different blushes. You get a matte side and a shimmer side. So it's perfect because you can use them on their own or mix them together. I'm not typically a big fan of split pan duos when it comes to any other makeup product other than blush, but because I like matte blushes and shimmery blushes, I just find that they give me more options when I'm doing my makeup. I think that this is such a good blush formula. It's very smooth and even. It looks gorgeous on the skin. It's very blendable and easy to work with. The only downside for me is that it's not quite as pigmented as it looks in the pan, so I find that sometimes I have to build it up. They do have deeper shades, which is really great. Great. So moving on to my top four. These are my absolute essential blush formulas. If I lost them, if I broke them, I would run out and repurchase them. These are the e.l.f. baked blushes. I've had these for years and years and I've talked about them so many times on my channel, but I'm always so impressed by the formula of this blush. Now the packaging really isn't that great, but if you can overlook that, these are $3 blushes that perform just as well as some of my high-end blushes. If you like a subtle glowy blush, these are the blushes for you. Now they can be sheared out or you can apply them with more of a fluffy brush for a very, very light diffused wash of color that's almost non-existent but just gives your skin a pretty just light shimmer, but if you want to build them up, you can layer them up with more of a dense brush. Now the deepest shade really isn't super deep, so again, I would love to see more shades from them, but 
The shade Rich Rose is probably my favorite and I just think they look so healthy on the skin. Okay, coming in at number three, I have the Too Faced Tutti Fruity Fruit Cocktail Blush Duos. I love this formula. I love this line so much. Now, I will say that the Tutti Fruity line goes on sale all the time on Ulta Beauty's website. I think on the Too Faced website as well. So you can potentially get these for half off, which is such a steal. I feel like these are so underrated. If you guys like a good glowy blush, a good shimmery blush. You're going to enjoy this formula so much. Now, a couple of things. These are scented, which I do like, but I know not everybody loves scented makeup products, so keep that in mind. Each blush comes with two different sides. You get a pretty shimmery, glowy, glittery side, and then the other side is more of a satin, so I don't really find that any of these blushes are matte. They all look pretty shimmery on the skin. Now, even though there is glitter in some of these, I find that if I use like a larger blush, a larger blush brush and then tap it off, a lot of the glitter falls off. So the glitter doesn't necessarily translate to the cheeks, but it can if you want it to, just depending on how you apply them and which brush you use. But they have a great shade range. They have a bunch of really deep, intense shades. So if you have a darker skin tone or you just prefer more of a saturated blush, you could totally go with some of the darker options that they have available. These are so pretty on the cheeks. Number two might surprise you because I thought I was going to rank this blush formula at number one, but there's actually one blush formula that I ranked higher than this one. But these are definitely my most used blushes. I reach for these over any blush in my entire collection. Now they are expensive, so it took me a while to get into the formula and I wasn't sure that I was ever going to try them because the price tag is up there but I can tell you that these are worth the money. These are the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes. I have two different formulas. I have the regular ambient lighting blushes, and then I also have the ambient lighting strobe blushes. The ambient lighting blushes don't have any actual shimmer or glitter mixed in, but the strobe lighting blushes do. I actually just prefer the original ambient lighting blushes. These are unlike any other blush formula that I've tried. They're so soft and naturally pretty. They have a gorgeous, subtle luminosity to them. They're not shimmery, they're not satin looking, they're not glittery. It's just like the actual powder is so brightening and it just looks so soft and natural on the skin, but it still gives your cheeks a pretty flush in the most subtle, pretty way. It's just unlike any other blush formula in my entire collection. If I just want something so subtle, which is what I typically prefer, then I reach for these. I like to keep the main focus on the eyes, sometimes the lips, but rarely the cheeks. And I just find that these are perfect at really adding to the look in a very subtle, natural way. So they are expensive, do not get me wrong. If you can get your hands on like a trio or a mini blush, then that's a great way to add to your collection and get a little bit more for the money. I know that the full size blushes are $38, so I typically wait for like a Sephora VIB sale, but I have not been let down by them. I'm just so impressed by the formula. And it would be at the top of my list, but there's one formula that I had to rank a little higher. So I actually hadn't had a blush formula impress me like the Hourglass blushes until I tried the Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused blushes. I like these for a different reason than I like the Hourglass blushes. These are so blendable. They're so easy to work with and they're very effortless because they go on the cheeks so easily, but these are highly pigmented. And that kind of surprised me because I do love a good subtle blush, but I appreciate the fact that these are so pigmented because they do work so well for all skin tones but you can go in with a light hand and get more of a sheer application. I would say that these are matte blushes because when you first apply them, they do look matte. They look matte in the pan, but when you blend them onto the skin, like look at this glow. This almost looks like the glow a highlighter would give you, but on the cheeks, it looks so healthy and so natural. It looks like your actual skin is glowing. So what I love about these is that you can shear them out, but you can also build them up for really, really intense color payoffs. So if you do have a deeper skin tone, these are going to show up on you as well, which is amazing. I love that so much. So there are so many pretty colors to choose from. They're just so stunning on the cheeks. They blend out perfectly. They stay in place well. I just think that the formula is perfect. Okay guys, that is the end of my video. Those are all of my 12 blush formulas ranked. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I would love to hear from you. Please share your absolute favorite blush formula in the comment section below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys very soon with a new video. Bye.